Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to perform buckling analysis of a connecting rod. So you see connecting rods are used in the engine assembly of an automobile. You can see connecting rods everywhere in the cars, your bikes or any engine. So generally in the connecting rod the crankshaft is fixed on the other end and it is fixed from this top side to the cylinder. And the main function of connecting rod is to move up and down. In the connecting rod, the load is applied onto this inner surface. And we can consider if we only perform the analysis of this connecting rod, we can fix this inside surface. And this and some part of this pressure is applied in the vertical downward direction. And due to this vertical downward forces, since this is a compressive load, we will see that connecting rod can also be failed due to the buckling. So hence it is very important to check the buckling load for the connecting rod. And now let's go to ANSYS and then solve this problem. So what I want you to do is try to solve this problem by yourself. You can find the geometry of this connecting rod in your project file on the folder of buckling of connecting rod. So try to do this analysis by yourself and then you can follow along the next lecture to continue this analysis. And we are going to solve the buckling analysis of a connecting rod. So this is the load. The pressure is applied of 40 megapascal and this is fixed from this inner surface. So now go to ANSYS. First of all select static structure as we already know and then pick this eigenvalue buckling and then drag it to this static structure. After that the material for this connecting rod we are taking is by default as the structural steel. So we are not going to change the material. I will go to the geometry, right click, go to import and click on browse. Go to the folder of connecting rod buckling and import this file connecting rod.stp file. You can see check on this geometry. It means the geometry is imported properly. So you see right now the geometry is showing up to this geometry. So what I do I will delete this and once again I will import this eigenvalue buckling. This time I will take this to model. So now we can see it is synchronous with this model. So I will go to model right click and then edit. So first of all we can go to the geometry and we can see the connecting rod is made of three parts. So this is basically an assembly of three components and we have to make sure structural steel is applied to all the materials. Now I will go to this mesh right click and then generate mesh. So the mesh has been completed. So if I go to this statistics we can see the number of nodes. So if you want you can also reduce the element size and you can create much finer mesh. But, but since this is a student addition, I am not going to change this mesh. So now I will have to apply the load and boundary condition. So first I will delete all the existing load onto this pressure and this fixed support. Delete this. I will go to static structure, right click and then go to insert and then pressure. Rotate this. We will have to apply the pressure onto this faces. So I select this faces, click on the geometry, hold down the control key and select both the faces. Pressure I want 40 megapascal and then apply. Similarly I go to static structure, right click and then fixed support. Select this face, hold down control key, select this face and then apply. So the force and boundary conditions are applied and then I will go to this pre-stress and here I want static structure in the analysis. So let's say number of mode shape I want 6 or you can see number of mode shapes up to 10. Okay, in the solution I want total deformation and now we can solve this. Right click and then solve. 
so it is going to take some time to solve this problem because it is finding out all the 10 mode shapes so here we can see the analysis has been completed so let's see how are its different mode shapes so i will go to total deformation select the first mode shape and then click on animation so now for the first mode shape it is going to bend like this so here we can see the deformation now for the second mode shape select the second right click and then retrieve this result and then once again animate so we can continue see different mode shapes like this is fourth mode shape and then retrieve this result so now you can see this is a twisting mode shape so at this mode shape this connecting rod is twisting similarly let's say i want higher mode shape so this is let's say eight right click and then retrieve this and then animate so at this mode shape it is going to take the bending load so in this way we can find out different mode shapes of a connecting rod